everyone this is dr jyoti bala in this session we are talking about selex which is a powerful technique used in molecular biology and biochemistry to select and amplify nucleic acid based aptamers in my past videos i have already given you the overview about aptamers its application and which are the top global companies which are working on aptamers so let's get started so let's first understand what is selex selex is a systematic evolution of ligand by exponential enrichment method this is not a protocol based technique but it's a principle based technology so it is basically based on darwin principle it's a powerful technique that allows scientists to identify nucleic acid molecule that binds specifically to a target molecule such as protein or small molecule selex can be used to discover new drug target develop new diagnostic tool biosensor and study interaction between nucleic acid and different molecules so you can decode the cellular mechanism based on nucleic acid and how they are involved in the biological cellular regulations as i've said selex is based on darwin principle it suggests that the selection of the fittest as you know the selection of the fittest is not from the 100 or the 1000 candidate or the participant but it is from the random pool of the organism in the participant so based on that same darwin theory you are selecting and utilizing that principle in the in vitro condition and you are selecting aptamers from a random pool of library so out of those random library which contain around 10 raised to power 12 to 13 molecule you specifically isolate some candidate which has specific binding and high affinity for a particular ligand so let's try to understand this principle and this technology so let's start with the history first selex was first developed in the early 1990s by gold and his colleague this technique was initially used to identify rna molecule that could bind to the t4 dna polymerase since then selex has been widely used in molecular biology and biochemistry and it has led to many important discovery in the field as i have already covered the various application of aptamers and selex in different areas of diagnostic sensor imaging food technology in my past video so if someone is interested in exploring that area may watch that video so here let's try to explore various type of selex because as i mentioned it's not a protocol based technique but it's a principle based technique so based on which ligands you have selected for your project and for what ligands you are making aptamer you need to very carefully choose your selex protocol and here comes the importance of the type of different selex so let's try to explore what are the various kind of selex which are present and which is most suitable for your project so as i mentioned there are several different type of selex that are commonly used each with its own advantage and limitation so let's take a closer look at some of these types so let's start with the dna selex in dna selex a short synthetic dna sequences are used in starting library you have to allow those random library to bind with the ligand then you have to elute and discard the non specific binder and amplify your specific binders and this round of selex you have to repeat for 8 to 15 round depending on your different selex so this is a general outline of any selex dna selex is useful for identify dna binding protein and other ligands and for developing dna based aptamers on parallel if you are planning to work on rna aptamer then you have to perform rna selex rna selex is a similar to dna selex but it uses rna molecule as the starting library here you have to make your dna library and convert them to the rna library with the help of uh, in vitro transcript rna selex is useful for identifying rna binding protein and other ligands for developing rna aptamer the another selex is x selex in x selex the target molecule is immobilized on the solid surface such as micro array or the beak the nucleic acid library is then incubated with the immobilized target and the molecule that binds specifically to the targets are selected and amplified x selex is useful for high throughput screening and also for studying the binding specificity of the molecule the another type of selex is your cell selex In cell selex the target molecule is expressed on the surface of living cells the nucleic acid library is then incubated with the cells and the molecule that binds specifically to the target are selected and amplified 
Cell Selif is also useful for identifying cell surface based receptors and for developing cell specific aptamer. This has role in targeted drug delivery. The another CELIX is your Rapid CELIX that stands for Rapid Aptamer Discovery In Vitro CELIX. This is a modified form of CELIX that uses microfluidic platform to accelerate the selection process. Rapid CELIX can select aptamer in lesser time, making it a powerful tool for rapid aptamer discovery. The another type of CELIX is your parallel CELIX, which is a high throughput method that allows for the simultaneous selection of aptamers against multiple targets. Hence, Palocelix is useful for screening large libraries of potential aptamer targets. The another significant area is your genomic selix. Genomic selix is a modified form of selix that uses high throughput sequences to identify aptamer. In genomic selix, the nucleic acid library is sequenced after each round of the selix. Moving ahead, the next is your in silico selix. In silico selix is a computational method that uses bioinformatics tools to predict potential aptamer sequence. And this approach, the target molecule is first docked with the library of virtual nucleic acid sequences. The sequences that have the highest binding affinity are then selected for further analysis. In silico selix can also help to reduce the time and the cost associated with the experimental selects by identifying the potential aptamer candidate before starting the selection process. And lastly, the automated selects. Automated selects involve the use of robotic system and high throughput techniques to perform selects experiment in a fully automated manner. This approach allows for rapid and efficient selection of aptamer and can be useful for screening large library of potential targets. As you know, I do have 15 years of experience in aptamer technology from India and USA and Japan. So till now, we have completed four aptamer projects. So we have uh, selected aptamer for macromolecules also and for small ligands also. So let me give you 10 tips for a successful Selex experiment. Start with a diverse library. The more your library is random in terms of sequence and structure, the chances of getting a good aptamer will be huge. A diverse random library is crucial for successful selects. Use a library that is diverse in terms of both sequence, length and secondary structure. Secondly, choose an appropriate target molecule. Choose a target molecule that is well defined and purified also. Do the earlier analysis about those target molecules in terms of its structure, its properties, its physicochemical properties. This is going to help you in your designing of selects experiment. The third one is optimize binding condition. This is a very crucial step. Optimize the binding condition such as the pH, temperature, salt concentration and also ensure the optimal binding for the library with the target. The fourth one is use a proper control group. While performing selects, it is very important to perform certain uh, negative selection using the control group. So use a proper control group to ensure that the selected sequences are specific for the target molecule. So this is the best way to remove the non-specific binding from your Selex round. The fifth is select for the high binding affinity. Select for the nucleic acid sequences with the high binding affinity for the target molecule to ensure the specificity and the selectivity of the aptamers. The sixth is use high fidelity polymerase for the amplification. As you know, Selex is very much based on PCR. So it is very important to use a high fidelity and high quality grade of polymerase. Hence, using a high fidelity polymerase for amplification is important to avoid any error and ensuring the accuracy of the selected sequences. The next is to perform multiple round of selection. It is important to perform multiple round of selection to increase the specificity and selectivity of aptamer. It also good practice to sequence the selected aptamer after the selects round. Either you can do the conventional sequencing or you can either go with the NGL. With the sequence of the selected aptamer, you can identify the binding motifs and also optimize the aptamer sequence for your final application. You can also validate your aptamer binding either with the in silico approaches and also with the wet lab based structure binding experiments. So validate the binding of aptamer to the target molecule using gel sift assay, surface plasmon resonance, ITC, fluorescence based assay and so on. And finally consider modifying your aptamer for the improved property 
such as stability, half-life, bioconjugation, etc. So by following these steps, you can increase the likelihood of fully selecting the high affinity aptamers that are specific to your target molecule. In conclusion, I would say Selex is a powerful technique that has revolutionized the field of molecular biology and biochemistry. It has various applications in diverse areas of drug discovery, diagnostic, biosensing, bioimaging, etc. With the development of new type of Selex such as rapid Selex, parallel Selex, genomic Selex, in silico Selex, the techniques continue to evolve and improve. Thank you for watching and if you have any queries related to Aptamore and Selex, you can approach me. Thank you for watching.